Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have a truly amazing video for you guys today. Things are happening in the housing market right now. Things are starting to cook. We are starting to see huge price drops. As you, many of you guys know, today the feds raised the rates to about 6.3 if you have amazing credit, right? If you have 800 plus more so. And that is going to absolutely crush the housing market. Now, I've been doing videos. I've been going around cities in the United States to see what type of uh, inventory we're seeing, what type of price drops we're seeing. And I wanted to do this video on Portland, Oregon. Why? Because Portland, Portland was one of those cities that grew really, really fast. A lot of people from California kind of flocked here. You know, Portland just checked a lot of boxes for a lot of people. Now, if you're coming from Southern California, like many people were, unfortunately, you know, the weather's totally different, very uh, gray rains pretty much year round. It, Portland has been in the news. You know, there's been a lot of like homelessness problems. So, you know, it has had its, you know, ups and downs, right? But, you know, all in all, it is a very desirable city and people love it, right? And prices here, guys, absolutely just exploded within the last few years. And let me tell you, after the 08 crash, I remember doing research on Portland, the prices were half of what they are now. But right now, they're super duper expensive. But like I said, things are changing and things are starting to come down. Now, I did have the search set to uh, 90 days on Zillow. This is because I, I'm really trying to uh, find the the houses that have been sitting on the market the longest because I believe that those are probably going to have the biggest price cuts. Now, as we scroll right here, you know, the, the search is not perfect on Zillow. There's definitely some new houses here, like four days on Zillow. It's like, I specifically said I wanted 90, but whatever. Now, I wanted to look at this one. Check this out. This one is a fairly expensive house, seven dollars $800,000 but they just shaved off $45,000. So this is fairly a big, big price drop, right? Price cut, sorry, price cut. Now this house looks pretty bitching. If we just look at the photos, uh, it looks like it's on a mountain. Um, not, might not be for everybody uh, because look, their driveway is basically a bunch of wood, right? Uh, never really had a house like that, uh, but very interesting. Uh, I kind of Very interesting, I don't know how I mean, I've always had concrete driveways. If anybody ever had a wooden driveway like this, let me know what you think. But when you go inside, guys, this house is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Brand new fl floors just look amazing. I don't know if they're new, but wow, look at that kitchen. This house is absolutely move-in ready. This is a good one, good one, good one. Again, though, it's $800,000. But, you know, they did have that $45,000 price cut. This house is absolutely beautiful, guys. Look, it's got a second kitchen somewhere else in the house. This is insane. So it's 2,000 square, uh, almost 3,000 square foot. It's 2,800. It's four bedroom, three bath. Again, this is a lot of house. Look at that view. This is pretty insane. Not No backyard, right? Like I said, it's it seems like this house is on a hill. Might not be for everybody. Now, I think that I would probably like walking in this house. This house definitely looks beautiful inside, but I'm not 100% with that, you know, having no backyard. Um, you're basically gonna always be inside. But yeah, I mean, that's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It doesn't get better than that, guys. I love these beams on up here and how they painted it. Absolutely beautiful. 800,000, it's a little steep, right? But again, you know, if I was in the market and I loved this house and this was the right house for me in the current conditions, I probably honestly would wait, but I would offer, you know, 750, have, you know, have them come down another $50,000, see what, you know, see what they say and see if you could meet in the middle. Again, this is a move in ready house. So you literally don't have to do anything. You're just really working on the price and you're trying to get it as low as possible. Very, very interesting. Now, the sestimate is 844, but you know, I think the Zillow sestimate is a little bit, uh, is not right under the current conditions. It hasn't necessarily updated. Okay, here's a nice price cut for a decently priced house. Now they price this, uh, they have a $15,000 price cut on a $425,000 house. Again, very, very big, 2,800 square foot, four bedroom, two bath. You know, it's a lot of house. I'm surprised they only have two bathrooms, but maybe there's a possibility that you could make an extra bathroom because you have so much room. Now I could tell you, I do not like the front yard. This looks pretty hatchet held right here. This 
garage obviously needs a lot of work. You need a ton of landscaping, you know. Uh, so outside, I'm just not digging the house that much. But inside, things are looking a little bit different. Hate the two-tone floors. It looks like you do need to put some work into this house. Um, it It's definitely somewhat uh, move-in ready. But yeah, it's... Uh, don't like the kitchen i mean a kitchen like this pretty big to remodel something like this you're looking at about thirty thousand dollars maybe even more depending on what you know where you live in the country but yeah i mean this house does need work but it does have a lot of room it's you know it's definitely a fixer upper at 425 knowing that you're gonna have to go in and put a lot of work into it i would say i mean look at the landscaping it's just pretty awful i would say yeah i would i would be like I'll give you 385. You know, have them really come down and point out all the flaws of the house. Say, look at these floors. They're absolutely disgusting. You know how much it would cost to do new flooring to this house? It would be a lot of money. They don't they're not even taking pictures of the bathrooms. Oh, here it is. Uh yeah, I mean, this is pretty gross. I mean, they didn't even clean it. You could tell that it's just this is not how you show a house. Okay, you know what? This is just not how you show a house. These guys need a realtor that will, you know, stage it. Go in and clean it. You know, clean it. Make it look nice. I would not buy this house. I'm not, I don't like, if you're not going to put like a lot of, if you're not going to put effort into selling it, if you're not going to put effort into making it look nice, then what else are you hiding? These are some of the lessons that you learn when you, you know, buy houses. If, if nobody's going to make it look pretty, then most likely it's they did not take care of their house, right? Uh, so that's definitely a hard pass. They're gonna have to lower it a hell of a lot more for me to even be interested. Now here, here is a decent one. Now on the smaller side, 1600 square feet. Now they shaved off, well, it doesn't tell you right here, but uh, where'd it go? Uh, I think it's it was like a price reduction of like 40,000, hold on. Yeah, 40,000 price cut, okay? So they shaved off, uh, so it was like a close to 500, uh, at 500,000 and they took off 40,000. Now, what do you guys think? Again, front yard looks pretty, you know, doesn't look that nice, but okay, I, you know, let's see how the house looks. Okay, it's, again, like I said, it's not big. And the kitchen, you need a completely new kitchen here. Now, the good thing is that it is fairly small, so it wouldn't be that much. But again, you go in, you drop, you know, 459, 460, you know, you might not have a lot of money left over to, you know, do the remodels. This bathroom is pretty ugly. Uh, so hard pass on this. To me, you know, you're going to have to drop it a lot more than uh, $40,000. Uh, the house sort of looks like crap. It looks like you're buying somebody else's problem. Uh, that's the problem, guys. Sometimes you think it's a good deal and you might love the location or whatever, but you, you got to be able to walk away. Look at this. A $100,000 price cut. They had it listed at seven nine um, seven hundred thousand, and they just dropped it to six hundred thousand. What this tells me is that these guys are super duper motivated. Now it's twenty seven hundred square foot, so it is definitely a big big house. Front looks nice. Um, the front actually looks really really nice. Again, a six hundred thousand four bedroom two bath. You know, with so much house, you would think that they would add an extra bathroom. Okay, when we come in, it looks nice. This is nice. This is a nice, nice find. Kitchen, well, uh, kitchen, it's pretty beat up. Uh, it's fairly big, which means that if you were to uh, remodel this kitchen, you are looking at about $30,000, $40,000. You have an extra kitchen. Maybe the um, this is where you do the laundry, which is pretty awesome. I'm sure it's on the first floor, hopefully. There's some problems right here with the... Uh, floors these are things you have to look uh look for right this is the looks like a closet um maybe you could get away with just putting carpet in that closet uh but you know because it's hard to match floors right it's hard to find this wood but overall this house definitely needs some work you know now i see why there's a hundred thousand dollar price cut and if you're willing to do it you know it could be a good good house i mean look at this this is really pretty I, there's a lot of land too and you have a little backyard um, garage or you could maybe use it for something else like a woodshed or something might need a little bit of work they're definitely not taking pictures for a reason 
this looks looks half-assed right here. Uh, look what they did. So they built a deck on top of the stairs. This is something that you would want to come in and absolutely knock it down. That's not how you do it, right? Um, that is definitely hatchet Hilda stuff right there. So there is, you know, there's some cracks right here. You know, this is why you get an inspector. You might love this house. It might be in your price range, but then you come in and the inspector tells you, hey, we got problems here, problems there. Uh, I really, really do hate that they did this, actually. Um, it looks so ugly, right? They put a, it, it just, it looks so stupid. Why would they just knock out the stairs, right? Just demo the stairs, but maybe that was more complicated. Again, these are little things, guys, like this you have to look for because like I said on this video, you're, you don't want to buy somebody else's problem. But a $100,000 price cut is a big deal. Look, oh, here's another $100,000 price cut. Now it doesn't say here, but it does say it in this little thumbnail. So they had it at 685 and they brought it down to 585. Again, a big house, 2,400 square foot, 3,3. Three. This house looks pretty insane very front that front yard it looks really nice love the um, love the greenery love this little front area they're actually making like making it look nice okay so what do we got here looks like fairly new kitchen looks like new floors those are big big pluses so this is moving ready kitchen's a little bit on the small side for being a 2400 square foot home again laundry inside the house that's a you know that's awesome you don't have to go down to the garage all new floors across the entire house. Now look at this. Uh, looks like the bedrooms have carpet. I I like that. I don't mind. I actually like carpet in the bedrooms. Here's looks like the master bedroom. It does have the floors going through. This is definitely a house I would schedule to see a uh, to to do an open house. The backyard is insanely cute and pretty. This is awesome. This is so 585. They went down a hundred thousand guys. They seem like they're super duper motivated. They seem, look, they're taking pictures of the air conditioning uh, unit uh, because it, you know, they want to show you that it's good, right? It's this, this looks good. It's clean. This is perfect. This is what you're looking for, guys. This, you know, inspector comes in here and it's just check marks, right? It's, it's all good. No excess, all checks. Um, bathrooms, again, redone. They look nice. They look like they did a good job. They got some nice trim on the bottom and on the top. Uh, crown molding looks nice. So again, fireplace. This is a steal. I would definitely think I would. I would if they took out a hundred thousand dollars off. Then yeah, I would definitely ask for even you know add an extra fifty and see if they bite. And if you really love it, you know meet somewhere in the middle. But yeah, that's good. Hey, you know what? Portland's coming through. Huh? Um, here's five thousand dollars off a two hundred and seventy thousand dollar condo. Remember, condos in Portland could be on the pricey side. Here, I'll do one more. Here's ten thousand dollars off this uh, six eighty uh, house at six eighty. This house looks pretty insane. Now they only took out ten thousand because they're somewhat motivated and they know that they got the goods right. And this house definitely, just by looking at the photos, has the goods. You know, remember you also got to check the neighborhood. Do you like the neighborhood? This is a little bit janky. This is definitely a little bit janky. Look how the fridge opens next to this i don't like that i don't i know like is this a deal breaker you know sometimes for some people it is right some people might be like no i i don't you know i love this is definitely not a cooking kitchen so if you like to cook this is not the place that you want to buy it's the little things guys but yeah like the backyard is super awesome okay it looks like it's in a really nice neighborhood but can you be in a place where the kitchen is this small that you're not gonna cook anything? Uh, the house is 1,700 square foot. It's not, a, it's not a small house, but it's on the medium size. But I, I, I like to cook, so I don't know if I could do this. But yeah, that fireplace is insane, dude. Insane. Um, guys, you know what? As we look at Portland and we look at the interest rates going up, uh, it's starting to look uh, like great buying opportunities. Remember right now, you do not want to offer uh, asking. You want to go way below it and negotiate. There's plenty of houses. There's going to be more. Don't rush into it. Find a neighborhood that you like and uh, start, you know, start going into open houses on Sunday. Start driving around. And um, I'm telling you, man, in the next few months, 
<laughs> things are going to get things are getting rocky. Things are going to get real, real, real. Uh, and the housing market is definitely starting to take a big, big dip. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video. This was really, really fun. Now, I just wanna say a big thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos and supporting my channel. Thank you guys so much. It really does mean a lot to me. For If you're new to my channel and you like what I have to say, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.